All right, thanks, Azina Dance and Theatre for Young Audiences Specialist Gabby Fan uh, Dandroska paid uh, our shows a visit on Thursday to host a workshop and discussion at the National School of the Arts. She spent a few days in Johannesburg engaging with the performing arts uh, community and sharing some of her work and experience working in theatre and dance for young audiences in Germany and across Europe. Now, tell us more about Dandroska's visit. We are joined by Asitej SA uh, President Yvette Hardy, who hosted the Young Young uh, audience specialist Yvette. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Let's talk it's about. Wonderful to be here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Let's talk about uh, Dan Droska's visit to South Africa. What was the purpose of that visit? Well, she was with us for an entire month. She was in Cape Town for uh, just close on four weeks, and then in Johannesburg for a couple of days, as you mentioned. And within ACETEJ, which is the International Association of Theatre for Children and Young People, and is uh, in more than 100 countries across the globe, we have a number of experts who uh, focus on different aspects of work. Uh, Gabby, uh, her particular speciality is theatre for babies, for the very young, and also dance for young audiences. And these are two areas that we are really trying to develop within ACETEJ South Africa, within the local theatre and dance scene. So we invited Gabby to come and spend a month, month with us and to work with our artists in a number of different ways. Um, she was in a residency at Magnet Theatre working on baby theatre uh, with that group of, of young actors. Uh, she was also working with our Theatre for Youth mentees, our companies and our Inspiring a Generation individual uh, mentees in Cape Town, working on productions that they were uh, developing for festivals. And, uh, and then she came to Joburg and she had this fantastic day of workshops with around 40 dance practitioners uh, in the main um, to look at what are the possibilities for dance for young audiences in South Africa. All right. Now, you know, what are some of the issues that she touched on that were the highlights for you? Well, I think that what the artists really appreciated is that obviously coming from Germany and having worked you know, all over the world, Gabby brings a very particular aesthetic eye, um, but she was also very open to what's happening in South Africa and very excited by what she saw and what she experienced here. And so there was a very vibrant exchange between the ideas that she was bringing, which were often quite new to the artists, um, and what she was receiving from them. And I think that all of the artists have felt that they've really been moved in new directions. They're excited about what they are wanting to do uh, about the productions that they're making, for example, for the Grahamstown Festival or for the Cape Town Fringe Festival later this year. Um, they are seeing new possibilities for their work. And they're also realizing the possibilities for international exchange. Um, South Africa has wonderful artists, but we don't tour them in the theater for young audiences uh, arena as much as we should. Um, and I think that Gabby opened up those possibilities for people. All right, and she attended uh, several events at the Baxter Theater. What, what did she say about what she saw? Well, you know, it was really interesting because over the period that she was with us, we had our own OBS Family Festival. We also had the Zabalaza Festival, which we are a partner in. Um, and then beyond that, we had some individual productions that we were involved with presenting. Uh, one of them being Lion Boy by Complicite. And so she saw a very wide range of productions. And I think that uh, she, was, she was fascinated by the work. She saw very strong physical work, wonderful uh, singing, you know, um, and sort of musical in integration into pieces. Um, she found some of the, the subject matter very challenging. One of our mentee companies was doing a piece called Fruit for uh, Teenagers, which deals with rape. And I think that, you know, the sort of, uh, the, the sort of onslaught of, of um, issues that South African artists tend to deal with, uh, I think she found uh, interesting and challenging and, and provocative. Mm. You know, how do you deal with these things in such a way that, that young people can really engage with them, digest them and respond to them, um, and where it's not just potentially a re-traumatization? Um, so I think she found it all very interesting and she's taken away a lot with her. She's seen, as I said, around 40 pieces of South African theatre, so she's carrying a little bit of South Africa back with her to Germany. All right, Yvette, thank you so much for talking to us. Always a pleasure having you on the program. Yvette Hardy is the president of ASITEJ uh, South Africa, speaking to us about dance and theatre uh, for young audience specialist Gabby Dandroska's visit to South Africa. Drosta hosted a workshop and discussion at the National School of the Arts. Speaking of performances, let's...